Hey there folks, if you're like me, spotless floors with minimal effort sounds like a dream come true. Well, today we're diving deep into the world of robot vacuums, and let me tell you, the Narwhal Frio X Ultra is turning heads for all the right reasons. Welcome back to the channel where we're always on the hunt for the latest and greatest in Apple smart home tech. I'm the Brad Lloyd, and I'm excited to give you the lowdown on this new addition to the cleaning game. Now, before we get into the nitty gritty, let's talk about convenience. We all live busy lives, and the last thing we want to worry about is cleaning our floors. Enter the Narwhal Frio X Ultra, promising cleaner floors with minimal effort and a sprinkle of smart home integration to sweeten the deal. But wait, there's more. Unlike your typical robot vacuum, the Frio X Ultra isn't here to just suck up dust. It's packed with some seriously cool features that set it apart from the competition. But does it live up to the hype? Stick around as I put the Narwhal Frio X Ultra through its paces, highlighting its strengths, weaknesses, and everything in between. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear idea of whether this futuristic cleaning companion deserves a spot in your smart home. So grab a seat and let's dive deep into the world of smart home cleaning with the Narwhal Frio X Ultra. Let's get started. Having tested several robot vacuums over the years, I've gained a pretty good sense of what I like and what I don't like in a robot vacuum. Overall, these machines can really be a game changer when it comes to helping you with your everyday life. Our floors get dirty probably more than you think, so having a device to both vacuum and mop your floors with minimal effort can really add time back into your day. A couple of things that I've learned that you should be aware of. First, I haven't seen a robot vac that's going to completely replace manual vacuuming and mopping. There will be occasional times where you need to get out the broom or stick vac for some help around the corners or grab a mop for some set-in stains, especially if you have textured floors in high traffic areas. And obviously, it can't do stairs, at least not yet, but having a robot vacuum will make this significantly easier. The second thing you need to know is that it's not maintenance free. Obstacle avoidance is commonly an issue, and I'll show you how the Narwhal performs in this regard soon, so you'll need to be in the routine of doing a quick tidy up before running your vac. I find lower to the ground objects are typically harder for the vacuum to detect as objects. Things like shoelaces, charging cords, and for me, puppy toys, should all be tidied up before cleaning. It's usually pretty quick, and it's a good idea to clean that stuff up anyways. Other maintenance includes occasionally wiping the sensors, dumping the dirty water, refilling the clean water, and emptying or changing the dustbin or bag. Not too hard or time consuming, but it's important to know what you're getting yourself into. Basic requirements for me, including the option to vacuum and mop. It needs to have mop pad lifting because I don't wanna to have to remove the mop pads to vacuum, and it needs to have a base station with a water tank and a way to manage dirt and dust at the end of a cleaning cycle so that I'm not constantly changing it. Luckily, Narwhal has all of these features and a lot more, so let's talk specifics. Before we get too deep into this, Narwhal did send me their vacuum for free to test out for the channel. Narwhal did not pay me for the review and encouraged me right from the beginning to provide my brutally honest feedback. The docking station has a curvy design without any hard corners, and inside is the clean and dirty water tanks. What you don't see right away is the cleaning solution as it's tucked behind the clean water tank. I love that Narwhal has a cleaning solution as an alternative to water alone, and even better, that they include a bottle with your purchase. The machine will add just a small amount of cleaning solution to each clean, and since it's a concentrated formula, it's said to last a long time. Now, that's subjective, and it'll depend on how often you mop your floors, how dirty they are, and the size of your floors. In the month that I've been testing this, it's still pretty full, and that's with mopping my floors basically daily. The scent is lemon basil, and it appears to be the only option. The scent is subtle, but adds just a touch of freshness to your clean floors. Without it though, you can still clean with just water, which is fine for most cases. The docking station also includes the usual mop pad washing and drying so they stay clean and free of bacteria buildup. The mop pads can also be laundered for extra clean, just be sure to avoid fabric softener and hang to dry. What isn't included in the base station is a dust bag with a system to suck that dust from the vacuum into the bag after completing a cleaning cycle. Instead, let's look at the vacuum itself where you'll find the onboard dustbin and filter. If you're thinking this means you're gonna have to empty the dustbin after each cycle, then don't worry. This is another innovative feature that Narwhal has included. Narwhal uses dust compression technology to reduce the dustbin change to every eight weeks. It's pretty ingenious. It also reduces the usual noise that other vacuums make when they suck dust from the vacuum into the dust bag in the station.
It reminds me of a garbage truck crushing all the garbage bags so it can continue adding what seems like an endless amount of garbage as it continues down the street. When you think of it, the dust in whatever vacuum system you're using right now is mostly air. The vacuum includes various sensors for navigation and obstacle avoidance, and then underneath we've got a couple of side brushes to help pull the dirt and debris towards the main brush, which is yet again another unique feature of the Narwhal Frio Ultra. Narwhal calls it the world's first zero tangling aerodynamics brush. If you have anyone with long hair, then this is one that you'll appreciate. My wife and daughter both have long hair, and it's crazy how fast this can jam up vacuum brushes. So I'll give you an idea how well this actually works shortly. The vacuum itself has a crazy, and I mean crazy, 8200 PA of suction. This is top of the market. It's probably more than you'll ever need, but it's nice to know it's there. There isn't much that this vacuum won't be able to pick up. The mopping system is impressive as well. The diamond shaped design of the mop pads ensures full coverage and the mopping system provides an industry leading 12 newtons of pressure. When I say industry leading, it's not by a little bit, it's basically double. So instead of just dragging the pads along the floor, it's applying significant pressure which can make all the difference when dealing with stuck on dirt. In the box is the robot vacuum. There's two side brushes, a power cord and the base station. You can use the vac with Siri shortcuts, but for setup, it starts in the Narwhal app. Follow the instructions for setting up your new vacuum and connecting it to Wi-Fi, and then you're ready to begin. Once it's set up and charged, then you'll want to create your first map. This is capable of multi-floor mapping with up to four maps in total. Obviously, you lose the benefits of the docking station to clean the mop pads, and you'll need to manually carry the vacuum up and down the stairs, but it's a nice convenience. The glitch I've noticed with secondary maps is that I can only clean by area. Hopefully this is fixed soon. Make sure your area is tidy and all your doors are open so the vacuum can accurately create a map of your floor. The process doesn't take long, just a few minutes before you can view your map in either 2D and even 3D. You can also add no-go zones for areas where you want to exclude from your normal vacuuming. I've created a small no-go zone under this entertainment stand since I have some cords down here, and instead of risking the vacuum occasionally getting jammed trying to suck these cords up, I've decided to avoid the problem altogether. Once your map has been created, then you can edit it by either merging or separating rooms. I really appreciate that Neural lets you create custom names for each room. It sounds like that's a pretty obvious customization, but not one that Ecovacs, for example, includes, and I've always found that frustrating. Okay, to this point, we've talked a lot about hypotheticals, but you must be wondering how it actually performs. In terms of cleanliness, it does well. If I run it before bed, then I wake up in the morning to clean streak-free floors every time. That's amazing, but it's also not unique compared to other high-end robot vacuums. My first impression was, wow, this thing is quiet. It's impressive that this can perform as well as it does while also being as quiet as it is. And the fact that at the end of the cycle, there isn't that noise of sucking up dust from the vacuum into the dustbin is nice, especially when you're running this at night. My wife would often forget about the vacuum and think that someone fell downstairs, the kids woke up, or someone had come into the house when running other vacuums before bed. Of course, if you crank the suction to max, it's going to get a lot louder, but those cases are rare. I do my best to keep a clean house and having a robot vacuum definitely helps. But to put this to the test, I laid some quinoa on the carpet to see how it did. It picked up most of the pieces as you can see, and with the second pass, I was able to get the remaining pieces. I repeated the test on a hard floor, this time with brown rice, and I was impressed with the results. It did take a few passes to get all of the pieces, but it did a good job vacuuming the rice without flinging grains all over like with some other vacuums. To test the mopping performance, I smeared some ketchup on the floor and I let it dry overnight before attempting to clean it up. Since this floor is slightly textured, I knew this was really putting this vacuum to the test. As you can see, it took several passes, but it actually left us with a clean floor. I was pretty impressed. There's lots of customizations available in the Narwhal app, like vacuum and mop, which is the default. This does what it says it's going to do. It vacuums and mops at the same time. And in my experience, it does a good job. There's also the option to vacuum and then mop, which I find does a better job in more extreme situations. If it's been one of those days where the kids or pup have just tracked in a bunch of dirt and sand from outside, maybe you've just got home from the beach, then doing a thorough vacuum before mopping can help increase performance. Of course, if all you wanna do is a vacuum or just a mop, then that's of course very possible as well. It's very flexible. 
Under customization, you can get even more specific for different rooms, like mop once and then vacuum twice, use super powerful suction, double mop with meticulous coverage, or just do a light vacuum for areas with less traffic. It's totally up to you. That's why I like the Frio Mind to do the thinking for me. Normal uses what they call Dirt Sense, which uses sensor arrays and an AI algorithm to determine just how dirty the floor is, and when necessary, it can auto wash the mop pads and complete additional passes until the floor is clean. As I've mentioned, before cleaning your floors, you should walk through your home and pick up any loose objects. The Free Walter uses a tri-laser system for obstacle avoidance and does a good job for taller objects, but like many other vacuums, it still struggles with objects low to the floor. You can see this basically went right over my Apple TV remote and the charging cord became jammed so I had to manually pull it out. With larger obstacles like some dog toys, it did an excellent job. We have to talk about the brush though because zero tangling is a pretty big claim. My wife and daughter both straighten their hair in the morning, which leaves so much hair on the floor that I sometimes wonder how they still have any hair left. I put the Frio X Ultra to the test as I vacuumed up the bathroom floor. Performance wise, it did a great job and didn't leave any hair behind. So how did the brush do? Well, I didn't expect it could actually handle this, but it did. As you can see, the brush remained clean and tangle free. I've cleaned a lot of hair from other vacuum brushes, so for normal use, I think you'll notice a significant improvement with this brush compared to other vacuums. Clearly, this is a great machine, and you can probably tell at this point that it's one that I really like, but this is a smart home channel after all, so you'll be happy to know that the Narwhal is compatible with Amazon Alexa and Siri Shortcuts, which is the one that I really care about. Within the Narwhal app, you can select Siri shortcuts and get several options like a full floor cleaning, returning to the base station, locating the robot, and several other options. This is great because you can simply use Siri to execute your shortcut, and if you have an iPhone 15, you can even use your action button. Unfortunately though, I couldn't find an option to complete just a room cleaning with Siri shortcuts. Hopefully we see an update soon, but it does mean you can't just say, clean my front entrance. There also isn't a built-in voice assistant like with some other robot vacuums. Now, since you've got Alexa and Siri shortcuts, this isn't necessary for me, but worth noting if that's something you were looking for. We could very well see robot vacuums work in Apple Home finally this year, thank you to Matter. Narwhal has said that they're looking into supporting Matter. So take that for what you will. I would love to see native support in the Apple Home app, though if this is an absolute requirement for you, then you may want to hold off purchasing until there's an official communication. If you're more of a manual control person, then there's a built-in LED screen that you can touch to wake, and you can run a cleaning cycle or other basic commands. Based on my experience, the Frio X Ultra does a fantastic job, at least equal to the competition, and the extra edge for me personally is just how quiet this is. This is the first thing I noticed, and it makes it a great option for those running it overnight while you're trying to sleep, or maybe during the day if you've got small kids that are sleeping. But what about the downsides? While the Frio X Ultra is competitively priced when it comes to other high-end robot vacuums in its class, it's still a lot of money, and you also need to consider the cost of replacement parts. To be clear, this is not specific to Narwhal. Any robot vacuum requires replacement brushes, um, side brushes, dust bins, cleaning solutions, filters, all of that stuff. It's part of the ongoing cost, but it's well worth it in my opinion to protect your investment and keep your machine working as good as new. In the Narwhal app under Manage Accessories, you can see a pretty long list of accessories and how many hours are left before needing to be cleaned or replaced. Narwhal offers accessory bundles and often has promotions running to save you money, so watch out for sales. I just received this accessory kit from Narwhal. Not only did I save money buying this as a bundle, but I saved 50% for buying during a Valentine's Day sale. This particular kit includes replacement filters, mop pads, side brushes, detergent, and a main brush, and should keep the Frio X Ultra cleaning for a long time. The other thing that you need to consider is that because there's no dust bags, you're going to need to replace the dust bin and filter every seven weeks or so, and this is gonna cost you more than a standard pack of dust bags would cost in most cases. Now this is an assumption as the disposable dust bags aren't being sold yet and the price hasn't been finalized, so perhaps we could be surprised. Luckily, there is a reusable dustbin that you can use and it's included with your purchase, though since the dust can't be compressed, it means you're gonna have to empty it much more frequently, probably once or twice a week, just depending on how often you're using it and how dirty your floors are. Overall, everyone has different needs. After a month of testing out the Narwhal Frio X Ultra, it's done a great job keeping my floors clean without much extra effort for me. It's super quiet, it fully contains the dust, and includes a brush that nearly eliminates hair tangling. 
Adding a robot vacuum to your smart home is amazing. Hopefully, Matter will make this even better, but even without, it's a luxury that money can buy. The Narwhal Frio X Ultra costs $1,800 Canadian, which admittedly is a significant investment. Depending on when you're watching this video, there may also be additional discounts that you can take advantage of. As of right now, there's an early bird offer that gives you a $400 discount that's redeemable between March 6th and March 12th. So check out the links in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. Let me know in the comments if you're looking for a robot vacuum or if you already have one and what's most appealing to you. That's it for this week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon.